The golden gates glow with splendor and grace, bearing silent witness to the greats of the last few decades. Ginny Lang. Mark Todd. Princess Anne. Andrew Hoy. Pippa Funnel. Now they applaud the stars of today. William Fox Pitt. Mary King. Ollie Townend. Andrew Nicholson. And the Nearly Folk, those who have come close but have yet to win here at Burley. They require skill of the utmost level in all three disciplines for the dressage, discipline and control. For the cross country, daring, dexterity and determination over 27 daunting fences. And for the final show jumping phase, composure, precision and the ability to handle pressure because they go in reverse order, the last one knowing that if they jump clear, they will be the champion for 2009. we like to take you behind the stable door and get close to the potential stars of this sport. These are the preparations that go into making sure they look their best when they go into the arena. But it takes years of work to make sure they perform at their best in all three disciplines. And this is just one of those hoping to take home the title. This has been a happy hunting ground for William Fox Pitt, who aims to make history by winning his sixth Burley title and being the first rider to do so. Oliver Townend, hot from his badminton victory, will be putting the pressure on to scupper William's plans. Zara Phillips will be looking to take her father's cross-country course very much in her stride. Daisy Dick is getting married in three weeks' time, but winning here would be the best wedding present she could think of. And it's a new look cross country course this year, designed by Captain Mark Phillips. We'll be taking a detailed look at it in a moment or two. But first, let's find out what happened in the dressage with Harriet Harrison. So to Oliver Townend, riding Carousel Quest. This partnership were a decent eighth at Lexington earlier this year. Now it's worth remembering that all these horses and riders have to perform the dressage test to show that the basic training has been put in for the rest of the competition. The horse has to be obedient, and very much in harmony with the rider. And Oliver Townend and Carousel Quest are showing just that. They're coming to the last loops in this serpentine where they have to do the flying changes. Here, Carousel Quest does a beautiful flying change right to left, really smooth and on the center line. And now the last change, and again, very, very accurate from this combination. Really looking to the future with this horse, Oli Townend riding onto the center line, holding the horse straight, that's what the judges will be looking for, and into the final halt. Almost square. He salutes the judges and he's thrilled with that. The only competitor to get less than 40 penalties. In blustery conditions, Carousel Quest and Oliver Townend kept their cool to lead a packed field. Less than nine points separating the top 10. And Oli Townend keeping very focused as he goes into the start box to be counted down and he's away. The overnight leader of the dressage. Riding to the first. This horse really having got a lot of confidence in Oli. In recent times, just a combination to get together. Born in Huddersfield, but these days living on this new farm he's got in Shropshire, of which he's so proud. Oof. Yeah, he did a half and half there. He, he pulled out left so he could get two strides instead of the one. And another rider to take a flag with them. And he's riding into the trout hatchery. It's a very good line to this narrow brush. Another narrow brush. Yeah, wastes absolutely nothing, of course. Champion of badminton this year on Flint Curtis. And looking to play a strong part in the upcoming European Championships for Great Britain. Member of the British gold medal winning team at Protoni two years ago. And Ollie, well, quite simply, on fire. Ollie coming to this combination of fences, a very narrow brush. 
They've got to skip over the ditch after two strides, very smooth, and then two strides and out over another arrowhead brush, making it look so easy, but believe you me, it's not. Yeah, really straight as a dies, he swings the corner up to the dairy mound. And that's in touch. And lots of people have had problems up here. Ollie gives the horse a little reminder on the shoulder to say, please don't run out. These riders using felt padded whips now. And jumps the second of the corners and has a little peck. But Ollie picks him up and away he goes. We'll see here he rides really strongly to the distance that he sees. And then just as the horse lands, the left fetlock. Now from one champion to another, we pick C. Ollie now coming to this capabilities cutting. And of course it's Oliver and William who are vying for supremacy at the top of the HSBC Classic. So fence 21 of the 27 around this 6,000 metre course or 6,020 metres takes that left hand hedge as you see it which pretty well everybody's done right the way through the day over the water and onto the jubilee comes ollie just nicely balanced and controlled sees it and flies the jubilee leap brilliant brilliant and up towards the arena and the cheers are beginning to ring out he's very popular but he's becoming even more popular not just by the day but by the hour here and everybody i think realizes now that this is a young man with a real special talent for this sport. Yeah, I saw him at Blenheim many years ago. Rather an unassuming lad, but not so now. He's got the bit between his teeth and he is running. Mum and Dad are here as part of the support and grooming team and they're ever so proud. William up towards Capabilities uh, Classic. See this thoroughbred galloping horse probably a bit of German in there but he certainly looks a lot of blood in there too so very fast very quick and Sam Griffiths and happy times about to relinquish the lead to Oliver Townend surely and Carousel Quest just the last now one or two time penalties but they were the leaders after dressage and they remain the leaders now after cross country it's a very good jumping horse and he almost tries too hard to jump too well sometimes and I've got to be careful because he would tip him up himself up at times but he was brilliant it's straight as die and how much were you looking at the clock i mean you were just over but i don't really know i'd lost the plot sort of halfway on and thought forget that i'll just keep going now i was riding the horse rather than the clock and he was brilliant he, he galloped all the way home could have probably gone a bit faster but i'm really glad that he's just home and safe and hopefully in the lead yeah you are in the lead it's 43 good, good, good. and i think that gives you a fence in hand i might need one we'll see Carousel Quest, as a result, has got two fences in hand. Oliver Townhen, the champion of badminton on Flint Curtis, looking on Carousel Quest here to complete the Burley badminton double. And just about everybody holding their breath here. Gets a lovely balanced turn round to come back across the arena over that square oxa. Ollie riding forward away from that fence. That's how he's going to make up time. Shaving off the seconds. He's coming to the fences as balanced as you can and then riding on and cutting the corners when, it, when at all possible. It's a big jump at the Swedish Oxer. Now this young man has just got better and better. Really on a roll at the moment. And I'm sure he's hoping that's going to carry him through this show jumping round through the treble see how clever he is the way he jumps slightly left-handed coming out of the treble to shave off those points of a second keeps moving forward here he is pricked and the horse really obliging and obeying and coming round now 18 seconds that's plenty of time just needs to be careful he could have two of the last three down and still be champion. I wonder if he's still breathing. Wraps that one. He is the champion. He comes to the Land Rover planks and he takes them. A magnificent clear to take it with icing on the cake. Never headed. The leader after dressage, after cross country. There's his mum, Eve. And a look at the delight. And they're all on their feet here. An outstanding performance by Carousel Quest and Oliver Townend.